Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use OVH Cloud. So this is going to be the in-depth review and a beginner's tutorial. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So just to give you an overview, so what is OVH Cloud here? So OVH Cloud here functions as a platform offering managed web services and dedicated servers, earning the trust of many users. Remarkably, it has recently become the leading hosting service provider in Europe and stands as the third largest globally. The exceptional performance of OVH Cloud's cloud server and web hosting services contribute to customer satisfaction. Notably, they optimize their performance by managing global fiber optic networks. Now, what are the advantages of OVH Cloud? So when utilizing OVH Cloud services, there are numerous advantages to enjoying to enjoy. And here are some of them. So one of their advantages here is the streamlined website building. So building an online presence is crucial, yet not everyone can afford to hire a developer. So OVH Cloud eliminates the need for a de developer, allowing users to design at the front end of their website using any tool and seamlessly integrate it with OVH Cloud hosting services with a single click. Now, they also have the benefit of free source scalability and assurance. Now, scalability is a vital is vital when relying or uh, in managed services. So, OVH Cloud guarantees the availability of resources when never needed, alleviating concerns about scalability and resource shortages. The availability of dedicated resources make it ideal choice for you. Now, they also boast the ability or the uh, perk of Swift development. Now, OVH Cloud stands out for its quick development capabilities. Users can deploy analytics platforms and big data solutions in less than an hour using the ready-to-use and pre-configured Apache solution. Now, what are the core features of OVH Cloud? Now, utilizing OVH Cloud Service brings forth a range of core features, and some of the key features include diverse hosting services. Recognizing that one hosting service type may not meet all customer requirements, OVH Cloud provides various hosting services to cater to different needs. This include shared hosting, reseller hosting, VPS hosting, and dedicated hosting, and co-location services and this diverse range simplifies the selection process for customers based on their specific needs now the main idea here is ovh cloud here is a platform where in this case you could utilize the uh, available services they have right now so may it be for web hosting domains public cloud if you want to store your data on the web now, depending on what you need here, the prices that they offer you actually depends on what you need. So meaning if you don't have a lot of funds or if you don't have a lot of budget, well, OVH Cloud here can help you because it they will only provide you what service or what type of feature or type of service you only need for your business. So making it a cheaper choice for you if you're going to think about it because you you'll only be using what you need here. Now, in this case, for us to start using OVH Cloud here, we need to go to their website. So their website is going to be ovhcloud.com. Now, depending where you are currently located, you might be redirected to a specific section or a specific uh, website. So since I'm uh, in Asia Pacific here, it's going to redirect me to Asia. But if you're if you're in Europe or in another, um, another part of the world, well, it might re you redirect you to another web page. Now, if that if that's the case, sometimes the website itself will not be in English. So I would suggest you try using Google Chrome here and translate it if you're not familiar with the language itself. As Google Chrome here has the translate to English option available when you right click on the empty pages here. Now, in this case, when you actually scroll down here on OVH Cloud's uh, website, you should be able to see the different section. Like, for example, why choose OVH Cloud here? So, uh, just uh, to give you an idea here, so we have the uh, the free and unifying cloud here. 
So in terms of reversibility, the cloud operates openly with interoperability and adherence to standards. So there are no bandwidth costs even if you wish to recover your data, and the cloud is designed to be hybrid, allowing you to bend or blend private, public, bare metal, and web cloud options to suit your specific requirements. So it's a collective venture where collaboration with technology partners, startups, and solution publishers ensures the availability of the best options. Now, we also have the global leadership and trusted cloud here. So data privacy is a priority for them. So neither selling, using, nor transferring user data. So users have the freedom to choose where to store their data, benefiting from jurisdiction protection within the global networks. So they have a commitment to the highest standards, ensuring the utmost protection for data. So we also have the option or a section here for uh, sustainable cloud design. So they embrace sustainability here. Servers are manufactured and dismantled for up to three life cycles. So with 20 years of innovation, the server cooling process utilizes seven times less water compared to competitors. So the power usage effectiveness or PUE is an impressive of 1.28 according to website. So it surpasses the market average of 1.57, a significant portion of data centers is situated in repurposed buildings, so on track on achieving 100% low carbon energy and zero landfill usage by 2025. So in this case, they are actually uh, climate friendly or they are actually uh, friendly to the environment. So they also value performance. So they believe in fair prices, make the cloud accessible to all. Pricing is transparent and predictable with no hidden fees. So there are no lock out due to minimum or zero cost outgoing traffic. So controlling costs is paramount and achieved through building own data centers, servers, and orchestrating the fiber opt network. So yeah, so those are the information that we could actually view here in OVH Cloud and uh, all of those information. So I hope I was able to uh, basically uh, explain it to you, but how do we actually start using their service once you made up your mind? Well, using your service is pretty easy. So once again, you need to go to their website here, again, ovhcloud.com. And from here, what we need to do is we need to look for what we need. Now, for example, they have dedicated servers here, public cloud and VPS. So for example, maybe we want to use the public cloud here. So let's go ahead and click on get started here. Now, also, if you want, you are searching for a very specific, um, uh, type of service here, you could go ahead and hover on whatever you need here. Like for example, if you need web uh, hosting or domains, make sure you go to domain names here or web hosting or web cloud databases. Now they also have the quick access here. If you want to find your new domain, the new domain name, transfer your domain name here, premium domains, build a site feature like what we mentioned before. But in this case, since we are already here in public cloud, let's go ahead and click on the option here that says start now. So in the start now section, it's going to initiate the process of you creating your account. Now in this case, we need to import our name here, last name, our email address, as well as the password that we want to use for our account. Now in this case, we just need to enter our details. So let's go ahead. So once you enter all these details and you were able to create your account, it's going to ask you to enter the validation code. So usually you just need to check your email here, copy your code, paste it in here, click on submit, and you should be able to validate or confirm your email address. Now, once you've done that, it should redirect you to another page here wherein you should be able to start their services. So in this case, just click on accept here. And from here, we just need to basically fill out all the necessary details here. So that includes your account type, the country of residence, language spoken, your mobile number here, address, postal code, and city. Now, once you've entered your contact details here, the next page is going to ask you what services that you need, and you should be able to see the price for that services. Now, once you've entered those the de uh, details and the services, uh, contact or support might reach out to you and from there you just need to follow the whole process here and from here you should be able to get your services or depending on what you need here from ovh cloud but yeah so that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video